Let's talk about Pipewire. I finally downloaded Pipewire and it's amazing. I must admit I was skeptical for a long time. I couldn't quite decide whether Jack was working just fine for me, but then Jack and Pulse Audio started having all sorts of conflicts. Pulse Audio started respawning, I think it's called, and just different conflicts were happening in the door. I just thought, well, can't lose anything by trying Pipewire, can I? I can always go back to Jack. And now I don't see any reason to go back to Jack. It does everything that Jack could do, but it seems a whole lot more integrated than Jack and Pulse. I had to get rid of Katia and Cadence, all the things that has Jack as a dependency. But then there's this thing, and this is called, what's it called? It early rolls off the tongue, QPW graph. It does everything I need. See all the, all the routing that I've got going on here. This one and this one, they're just because I'm recording this video. This one is a DAW, and it goes out to my audio interface. This is the in from the audio interface. This one is perplexing, I'm not sure why it's there. I went on a, a hunt to try to find out what to use that for, but I still haven't figured it out. It's an adventure. So you still have all of the, the old MIDI ports like this, MIDI bridge. I guess the red ones are ALSA, are they? Yeah, ALSA MIDI. And this is probably Pipewire MIDI. It'll take some investigation. All I know is everything just works as it's supposed to. They're not connected to anything in here, but when I open my DAW, which is here, and if I press on my keyboard, You'll see that moving as I press my keyboard. Now, one thing you might want is to be able to open your DAW with different sample rate and buffer size. The way that you do that is you open a terminal. This one here is, I just opened it like this. Pipeware underscore latency, all in upper case, equals 256 and 48,000 space waveform 12. If I were to open another one, I'll open Bitwig. It makes studio. No, that MIDI input error is there because that particular device is currently running in waveform and I haven't found a way to run them both at the same time, but I don't think I'd ever need to, so that's no big deal. Check in here in settings, audio. So it's in as jack. And if I go back to this bit, you can see the bit wig is now connected. Now the other setting that's in here, that's really cool, is you've got pipeware audio here. You can choose which audio card that you use here, front left, front right. I like to have those things set up as numbers because these letters are confusing. I don't have rear speakers. So playback one, double click, two, three, four. If you hover over them, they're still called what they were called before. When you're in Pipewire, you can change all of these settings same way as you can with Windows and SEO drivers. And you can grab this, you can move that to wherever you want, or you can do whatever number. Double click it. You've got all this lovely audio routing now with Pipewire that you had with Jack as well, but it's not conflicting with anything else. In summary, download Pipewire, give it a try, see if it works for you as well as it works for me. So far, I'm very, very happy with it. And those weird dropouts that I'd been having are gone, and I seem to be able to run at a much lower latencies than I could with Jack on my previous setup. If you're interested to know more about Linux Pro Audio, check out this video here, the config stuff. Oh, and check out my new Patreon. Get free stuff.